If you're thinking of funking up your family hatchback or downsizing from a full fat SUV, then one of these will fit the bill. They are three of the most popular small SUVs searched for on Autotrader with the most popular PCP monthly price of £200. The Renault Kajar is good, certainly, but how good? Here's a list of its competitors, and it's a crowded market. Peugeot 3008, Kia Sportage, Serta Teca, Mini Countryman, Ford Cougar. Page 2, Mazda CX-5, Skoda Yeti, VW Tiguan, Honda CRV, Toyota RAV4. The city of Tucson, Arizona has a population of around 980,000 people. This is the Hyundai Tucson, which has a population of up to five. It's a practical and good value family car with the added bonus that most models have a four wheel drive option. This is the Nissan Qashqai that was designed, engineered and is built in Britain. Its platform also forms the basis for the Renault Kajar. This is the top spec Tecna Plus model with its telltale silver coloured door mirrors. Believe it or not, this is Renault's top trim level signature and it's still pretty stripped out like an Arctic winter. The exception of this curious little thing, who knows what this is for? Maybe a tiny little cup holder for a tiny person. Bose badge on the outside of the Kajar. Why? All the basics are done well in here. There's loads of adjustment on the seat and steering wheel so you can get really comfortable. And there's a good view out the front and sides if a bit limited at the back. These big buttons are really nice, but there is a lot of hard and scratchy plastic around, which is a shame for an upmarket SUV. And the boot size, although it shrinks a bit with the four wheel drive option, it's still the biggest of our three. The Nissan is the smallest car here, but it feels very roomy up front in the cabin. The design layout is fuss free with just the one eye catching feature, which is the pattern here on the leather seats. Fancy. These three cars are all likely to be used to transport children at some point. I'm the only one that doesn't have any, and these two are going to be no help whatsoever. But it should be easy to fit a child seat, right? Nissan's 1.6 litre engine has the same horsepower as the Renault at 130. It is never going to be enough to give me an adrenaline rush, so the best thing to do is to come into this car with a relaxed attitude and just be impressed by the sound deadening. It is really quiet on the motorways. It is also incredibly frugal. It'll do 64 mpg, which is just over 15 miles to the gallon, more impressive than the other two good for the wallet. It has also got a humongous panoramic roof which we love in the back of the car and quirky fact of the day for you ladies is that with the seats up this car has the smallest boot space but with them down it has the largest. How do they do that? The base model comes with DAB and Bluetooth but you'll want to upgrade to at least mid-spec and connector trim which gets you 7 inch touchscreen with sat nav and infotainment system which is okay but there is room for improvement. This is the top spec Tecna Plus, which gets you electrically operated seats, heated seats as well, and a fancy Bose sound system. Hump test anyone? It could be the first one you've ever done. Yes, please, Vix. This sounds so exciting. What could it be? Oh, it's going over a hump at 30 miles an hour. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah. That's all right. All right, pussy cats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just call me Thomasina Jones. Yeah. Not. This has got the smallest engine, a 1.2 litre, but with a turbocharger, and it's the only one of our trio to drink petrol. Now, around town, it is sprightly enough, but if you want to do anything a bit more energetic, like overtaking, you do have to go down a cog or two to get things going. And it is a nice gearbox, has a good feel to it. Is towing your thing, either of you two? No. Well, if it was, then by all means, go ahead and connect to a caravan, but this will take the smallest caravan compared to the other two. You'll want to avoid the base model, but with that, you still get DAB, Bluetooth and a 7-inch touchscreen. 
middle dynamic nav gets you the R-Link infotainment system, but it's not the best or the easiest or the prettiest to use. Signature nav as your fancy Bose sound system and heated seats are at the very top of the range. Well, I've got acres of room, acres of room in the back here, which goes to prove what a good job Renault's done with this because it's the same, you know, car as the Cash Card, but they've carved out so much more space and it's got that huge, lovely panoramic roof, which we love. Oh gosh, childish already today, excellent. It is the largest car here. <laughs> Who's put that in the boot? What is that? That was something of mine. Rachel, Millennium, what is it? It's my a goji berry juice avocado. box. <laughs> With 185 horsepower, the Hyundai is the most powerful and it takes 9.5 seconds to reach 62 miles an hour, so it is the quickest to accelerate as well. It's the largest car here, but it feels pretty sure-footed because it is four-wheel drive. You can get a four-wheel drive version of the other two cars as well. It's not the most exciting to drive, I have to confess, and my heart is going with the Renault. Is it me, or do these central seat belts that pull down from the ceiling just feel like the cheap option each time it's like do it yourself there's a bit of leather or what yeah there's a bit of material pop Pull it in. in yeah me no likey on the other hand what i do very much like is that if you look closely you'll see my hands are positioned strategically the side of me because i've got heated seats in the back with two different settings no less mm. so i'm happy you do get a decent amount of kit across the whole five trim levels of the Tucson. Again, you'll want to avoid base spec, but it's the same level of kit that you get on the other two cars. I'd recommend at least SE Nav, which gets you the 8-inch touchscreen system, which works nicely. It's not particularly exciting, but it does as it says on the tin. Things get a bit pricey after that, but you do get those heated rear seats and a heated steering wheel. Oh, bless. Every time. While the Renault Kajar and the Nissan Qashqai are essentially the same car, it's the Renault that takes top honours this week for its great interior space and all-round fantastic driving character. In second place, well, it's a joint second this week between the Hyundai Tucson and the Qashqai. We just simply couldn't choose between the two of them. So there you have it. <laughs>